Hello everyone. Hope you are working hard and living your lives happily. Welcome to the channel. The Third Eye. First, we want to thank you for appreciating our last video on Longford Town and thanks for your lovely comments. This really means a lot. If you have not seen that video yet, then you should check it out. Fourteen days now, I have been running from a prison far from here to my lover. I must go home now to live with others. I cannot be. I was a poor man in such a flavor. The days are ending down in the mines for stealing silver. Drumlish, Irish, Dreamly, meaning Fort of the Ridge, is a village in County Longford, Ireland on the R198 Regional Road 10 km, 6.2 miles, north of Longford Town. The parish of Drumlish lies in the northern end of County Longford and is part of the Diocese of Arda and Clone Macnoy. The churches of the parish are located in the town of Drumlish and in the neighbouring village of Ballinamuck. Drumlish Parish extends from the eastern side of the parish of Clungish to a short distance beyond the village of Ballinamuck. Evidence of ancient settlement in the area includes a number of Ringford sites in Drumlish and its surrounding townlands. The remains of a portal tomb, known as the Melka Dolmen, lie approximately two kilometres north of the village. In 1621, King James I granted Sir George Calvert two tracts of land in the plantation of Longford, one around Drumlish and the other around Ulfied, now Ulfied near Newtown Cashel. The tracts comprised the manor of Ulfied with Calvert as lord of the manor. In 1625 the Drumlish tract was separated from Ulfied into the manor of Baltimore, and Calvert was promoted to the peerage of Ireland, talking the title Baron Baltimore after the manor. He later sold the land without having planted any English settlers there. A prison far from here to my lover I must go close to the village of Drumlish is a late 18th to early 19th century mill complex which operated as a corn milling business until the 1950s to be found I robbed the rich man of his purse of money to pay the rent to feed a poor man I was trembling as I drew the dagger. Oh my God, what have I done? Woo! Within the village is a monument to a local land war resistance movement, which, in 1881, successfully prevented the forced eviction of a number of local tenants. The village has grown in population significantly from the late 20th to the early 21st century, with an increase from 275 inhabitants as of the 1991 census to 429 by the 2006 census, and doubling again to 931 people as of the 2016 census. Couldn't bound me and mocked and scorned me and said my true love I'd see no more into the darkness had it stumbled but I escaped from that den of woe No I must find her my belle Louise If you should see her say this for me Please forgive me and when I
Marquis Festival in Drumlish. Declan Nurney, born circa 1959, is an Irish singer-songwriter. Born in Drumlish, County Longford, he started at the age of 16 in a local band, The High Lows. His big break came with his autobiographical song The Marquis in Drumlish. His early education was at the Innebegs National School in Longford. Later he attended St. Mel's College, Longford, where he sat his leaving certificate. He was brought up on a small farm and has a passion for vintage tractors. His niece, Una Healy, is a member of the girl group The Saturdays. In month of August Marquis is celebrated here for three days. Up along, amid the rigging, swiftly those loud favoring gale, strong as springtime in its blossom, filling out each swelling sail, and the waves we leave behind us seem to murmur as they rise. We have tarried to bear you to that land you dearly prize rolling home rolling home rolling home across the sea rolling home to old New England rolling home dear land to thee 